Sa ikapat na zona ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte, pinaluwanag ng Pangulo kung bakit niya pinayagan ang mga Chinong mangisda sa West Philippine Sea. Darito ang unang balita ni Joseph Moro. Ladies and gentlemen, Tulad sa mga nakaraang pahayag, maingat muli ang Pangulo na talakayin ang isyo ng West Philippine Sea sa ikaapat na State of the Nation address. There are those who say that we should stand up and stop those who fish in our economic zone. Of course, we will do in due time. Hindi na bago ang sinabi ng Pangulo na umiiwas lamang siya sa gulo sa China, kaya pinayagan niyo ito na mangisda sa ating karagatan. Pero ang bago, ang sinasabi ngayon ng Pangulo, may traditional fishing rights ang ibang bansa na mangisda sa ating karagatan. I was invoking yung traditional fishing rights. It is in that arbitrary ruling. Ayaw lang ninyo gustong tignan. Ang clause is a product of a treaty. That treaty is... Also, a part of our land because we are a signatory. They don't come back and lang ninyo yan ng husto. It is there. China and everybody recognizes traditional fishing rights for the natives who were there even before the creation of republics and governments. Our ownership of the Philippine West Philippine Sea is internationally recognized. The West Philippine Sea is ours. There is no ifs and buts. It is ours. Gid naman ni Associate Justice Antonio Carpio, pwede lamang ang traditional fishing sa territorial sea at archipelagic waters. Wala raw traditional sea sa EEZ at malinaw daw ito sa ruling ng arbitral tribunal. Bahagi raw ng EEZ and Weed Bank, kaya wala raw ang traditional fishing. Sa gitna niyan, muling iginiit ng Pangulo na hindi pwedeng i-deploy ang militar sa West Philippine Sea para paalisin ang mga mangingisdang Chino. Kung ipadala ko yung limang, pati yung frigate ko na bago, yung pinagkaguluhan nila ni Trillanes dyan sa that made bong uh, senator, ubus yan. Because there are already guided missiles in that island. And the fastest that they have installed there can reach Manila in seven minutes. Malinaw din ang gustong mangyari ng Pangulo sa isyo ng gera kontra illegal na droga. I respectfully request Congress to reinstate the death penalty for heinous crimes related to drugs. Inulit din ng Pangulo na unang direktiba sa mga ahensya ng gobyerno na pabilisin ang mga government transaction. I reiterate my government, uh, my directive to the government on instrumentalities including the LGUs and the government corporations. Simplify. May I... Andito ba kayo? Simplify. Just like the others. You can do it electronically. You do not have to go to the office. I've been asking that from you since three years ago. Pag hindi pa rin yung nagawa yan ngayon, papatayin ko talaga kayo. May hiling naman ang Pangulo sa Kongreso na tiyak na ikatutuwa ng mga kawali ng gobyerno kabilang na mga teacher at nurse. Pero nilinaw ng Pangulo na hindi malaki ang pay increase. Hindi naman siya doon malaki. Pero it will tide you over during this hard time. A little bit bigger than before. This is intended to increase salaries of national government workers, including teachers and nurses. Kumapila ang Pangulo sa Kongreso na ipasa ang second package ng kanyang comprehensive tax reform program. We have pursued tax reforms to fund our poverty reduction programs. I therefore implore Congress to immediately pass package 2 of the comprehensive tax reform program or the Trabaho Bill. Para sa unang balita, Joseph Morong reporting.